State Minister of Transport and Civil Aviation expressed the following views regarding the arrival of a ground surveying aircraft at the Bandaranaika International Airport. A special purpose aircraft landed at the Bandaranaika International Airport last Saturday. The Basler BT-67 aircraft from Spectrum Air, ZS ASN, is fitted with one of the advanced fixed-wing airborne systems capable of ground surveying and has the ability to simultaneously map shallow and deep features of up to 1,000 meters. This is a small aircraft that travels from Indonesia to Mumbai. This type of aircraft has been there from the time of Asylon. These aircraft cannot travel long distance journeys directly and therefore while travelling to Mumbai, it temporarily landed at the Katnaik airport. This is a normal thing. If the aircraft requires any fuel or if it is facing any technical difficulties, these issues will be addressed during this time. This aircraft arrived in the country on the 6th. The three officers working on this plane are currently resting at the Taj Samudra Hotel. They have all entered the country with visa. That was obtained in compliance with the necessary rules and regulations. Following the April attacks, we must be happy that such aircraft enter the country. The Civil Aviation Authority looked into this matter. There will be no threat to the security of our country. This aircraft will leave on the 9th. This aircraft has been registered in South Africa, while all three employees of the aircraft are South African nationals. <laughs> You must understand an aircraft of this state cannot travel to Indonesia directly. This is why the aircraft landed in the airport. I requested the Civil Aviation Authority to inspect this aircraft today as well. There is no such equipment. They said they will assure that there is no threat to security. While the minister was addressing this media briefing, News First contacted and inquired from the Director General of the Civil Aviation Authority, HMC Nimalasiri, as to whether this aircraft was inspected. However, the aircraft had not been inspected at the time the matter was inquired. Accordingly, assurance that the aircraft did not include any equipment was based on the document provided by the staff on the aircraft. The minister says that this aircraft was inspected. However, until 3.30 this evening, permission was not granted to inspect this aircraft. It was closed. It's yet to be inspected. Equipment have been removed. However, they reject such claims. It's suspicious that they have not inspected the aircraft as yet. The aircraft landed claiming that it was strictly for technical purposes. However, I wonder what sort of technical services were provided for the past four days. The aircraft has no technical fault either.